The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. All right. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge with the Door Dork, where door hardware nerds get together. We knock and we slam on different door fells. We learn, we laugh, sometimes we cry, you know, because of uh, how bad these installs are. But most importantly, we have fun while we uh, learn a little bit about door hardware. Um, today, we do have two very special guests. Um, Mr. Bryce and Tom from Capital Lock. Um, I met these two at the MSC conference and I think one of the nights we were up to like three or four o'clock in the morning just talking about doors and technology and what the industry looks like. So I'm so happy to have them on the show today. Um, Bryce, Tom, why don't you introduce yourself? Um, tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, a fun fact. Well, uh, Benji Mia, it's great to be here. Uh, my name is Bryce Clark. I am owner and vice president of Capital Lock here in Madison, Wisconsin. So we provide locksmith services to uh, most of Southern Wisconsin area. Um, fun fact about me, I'm a certified public accountant. So uh, in a former life, I used to do taxes, got burnt out from that and uh, joined the door hardware game. So uh, now I get to work with my hands every day and uh, it's always a lot of fun. So. Hey, awesome. I'm Kurt. Uh, excited to be here. Uh, thanks for having us on, Benji and Mia. And I am the sales director at Capital Lock. So I do a lot of um, in the field stuff, doing a lot of site surveys and following up with our locksmiths on this is how the job needs to be done, taken care of. And uh, I have a background in criminal justice. So I have a great passion for security, keeping buildings secure. And then uh, kind of a cool fun fact about me, um, I used to sell French fries. And I got tired of uh, supply chain issues in the industry. And I always made jokes to Bryce about, why don't we just go into business together? And you know what? It took us 27 years, but we did it. So That's awesome. Uh, I love, I love the, the balance between it. It's like the brains and the bronze are like the, uh, <laughs> you guys make a great partnership. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad, I'm glad you're here. Um, and as always, you know her, you love her, uh, Mrs. Mia Merrill. Um, why don't you jump on and say hello? Hi, yeah, welcome to episode 12. Uh, yeah, this is, yeah oh. we're just completing a full year of Unhinged. Uh, so That's very exciting. Great. We should like, cheers, cheers to 12 episodes. You guys, cheers, cheers. cheers. <laughs> or skull since skull. you guys are. Oh no, Skulls, Minnesota. Go sorry. back, yeah. go. Go back, go. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. 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 Tell your folks that says hi. Um, fun fact. Uh, so I am inspired by the Mr. T poster behind them. Um, I, a uh, celebrity that I have met uh, and, and also distantly related to is Joey Logano uh, of NASCAR fame. So my fun fact. Nice, nice. Uh, any royalties heading your way? I mean... No, no, no. Uh, I've only met him once. Um, and, uh, but our parents were close when they were young. They used to live close and also you know, play together and everything like that when they were little, uh, but. Do you think you can get us on a list for uh, some tickets to a race? <laughs> doubtful, no. doubtful. I follow him on social media, but he probably does not know that I exist. No. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, is actually our first two kids, um, we had like within weeks of each other. Uh, mm -hmm. So like they had their first and then like three weeks later we had our, our first and then their second. Um, we had, I think it was like, they had theirs and then like days later we had ours and then they announced their third pregnancy. And I was like, Oh no, uh, you're not. <laughs> but no, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Benji, what's your fun fact? Yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of, uh, famous people that you're related to, um, couple of years back, I actually found out from my grandma that I'm distantly related to the Walter Schlage from, you know, Schlage company. So not very famous overall in the world, but very famous in the door hardware industry. Um, yeah. Uh, and I, I, I'm going to apparently uh, inherit some keys that uh, have been hanging up in one of the shops back in the day. So nice. I'm excited about that. <laughs> You're working for the wrong company. <laughs> <laughs> 
or, or, or they're working for the wrong company. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, awesome. So uh, let's get started. For uh, those who don't know how Unhinge works, I will pop up a door hardware picture, uh, a door hardware fail, a poor install, something about that. We'll uh, knock and we'll slam on the door. We'll give out any helpful tips and then we'll give it a knocking score. Uh, the knocking score, one being not too bad, like it's it's interesting or unique, but it's it's not needing to be like written up by the fire marshal and uh, 10 being pretty knocking bad. We got to get this taken care of. Let's uh, get the AHJ involved. How does that sound? You guys ready? Let's do it. Yeah. Do you think we're going to have another 10 this time? We just got our first 10 last episode. Okay, let me share my screen. Are you guys waiting for it? Are you ready? We are. I don't know if you're ready. The anticipation is killing me. Come on, Benji. Send it. <laughs> From speaking with you guys, staying up uh, late a couple of times, I knew that uh, you guys do a lot of Adam's right jobs. And so I thought I'd share uh, this one with you. I thought uh, this was interesting. Wow. That has seen some better days. Definitely seen better days. We have thumb turns on both sides. Is that what I'm looking at? That's one yeah. way to do it. But in a, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a set screw of their own kind there on the, on the left side. It's kind of... Uh wrapped it in their own set screw and uh that's wild yeah so they uh drilled in their own set screw or something went wrong and like that's that's interfering with the locking mechanism right there so they probably did some damage to this door being but, yeah, unlocked but, from yeah both which, sides, which i mean which side do you want locked uh, you think it's just to keep the door you know closed so the wind doesn't blow it open or something i mean anybody can let themselves in or out no problem yeah it's uh it's an honesty door you know like it uh, keeps people honest or uh, <laughs> Right. So this is in a vestibule. Yeah, you can see the other door there behind. So I don't think this is like keeping anything secure. Maybe knock on knock on wood because it's not keeping anything secure. <laughs> what is looks... their solution to a passage function, or is this a new part number we don't know about as a double privacy function? <laughs> <laughs> it also looks like the one that is on the outside has a lot of weather wearing. Is that, it looks like there's corrosion. Yeah, so I almost feel like this does get, like it, there's corrosion happening with this lock. So I'm wondering if it is exposed to the outside sometimes, or maybe they leave this door propped open when business is open or something. And Or it could be one of those classic, uh, oh, we moved the door, we can reuse this, it's still good. That's true. We, we do see a lot of those where we're like, well, that's not the right function. And some guy comes in and like, I can make it the right function. <laughs> Potentially a lot of sidewalk salt. Maybe somewhere it snows a lot, could be brought into the vestibule and weather it. See it all the time here in Madison. Yeah, prop, prop, uh, actually, the, I, I know where this is from. If you're not following the Locksmith Journal, he's from like West Texas. So I doubt oh. there's going to be uh, oh, very much snow. <laughs> so I was going to say, if he's near the Gulf, then the air could be real salty and humid and that would not be unreasonable. On the Oregon coast, we see a lot, a lot of locks look up like this, like just on the, the Oregon coast. And there's a lot of like, you know, like shops and stuff. So Adam's right is a good go-to uh, product for those storefront applications. So I feel like there is some, something happening that we don't understand, but I thought the, the functionality was kind of fun. Okay. Any last comments or before we give it a knocking score, what do you guys think? I think we pretty much hit it off all on the head, right? I think we, we rate this sucker. All right, knock it score. What do you get? Well, I mean, I don't see any huge infractions on life safety code if you can unlock it from both sides. I'm going to go with a 6.8. 6.8, not too bad. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it seems like it's functional. It certainly could look better. But, you know, Adam's right, does it right. So uh, I bet it still functions as however these guys were intending it to function. So I, I honestly, I'm just going to give it a 3.3. I like the, the decimal points there. <laughs> Yeah. Normally you don't get decimal points, but uh, I, th I feel like there there there's a spot for decimal points. That no rookie scores here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it easy. I'm just gonna say three because well, you're not gonna get trapped inside, and I'm hoping that there's some way to lock the outer vestibule doors for security when you need it at the end of the day. So no real crazy life safety issues. I'm worried about them making their own security screw here. And then I'm worried about the wear, uh, like the, the corroding that's going on. But other than that, pretty low. So I, I would agree if, if that outside door is lockable and this isn't needed for security, it's a definitely a lower score. 
one of my concerns, and I was actually just thinking about this, is someone could potentially lock and hold it from the outside in a life safety situation. So if that happened, I would say it's a higher score. If it didn't happen, I would say like most daily use, it's not that bad. I'll jump on to the next one. Uh, if you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, please leave a comment down below.